introduction to subtraction hello friends i am the parrot welcome to this topic come on let's see what you will learn in this lesson how does the number of any object decrease by subtraction and how to do subtraction of one digit numbers Today Chotu had gone to the market with his mother. He bought four laddus for himself from the market. Mummy, I am very hungry. Eat one laddu out of the four laddus you bought from the market. Okay, mummy. So how many laddus are left for Pinky? There are three laddus left for Pinky. But mummy, I am still very hungry. Can I have one more laddu? Yes, dear. Now, how many laddus are left for Pinky? There are two laddus left for Pinky. Very good, Chotu. Come on now, eat remaining laddus with Pinky. So, children, first Chotu had four laddus with him. Then he ate one. So there were three left. But then, out of the three laddus, he ate one more laddu. So then there were just two more laddus left with him. In this way, the number of laddus kept decreasing. On reaching home, Chotu goes to the garden to play with Pinky. He sees some pigeons over there. See, Pinky, those five pigeons are sitting on the clothes that have been put out for drying. They will spoil the clothes. Let's fly them away. Okay, Chotu. Chotu and Pinky. Then waves their hands towards the pigeons, and two pigeons flew away. Look, Pinky, two pigeons flew away. How many pigeons are left now? Out of five pigeons, two pigeons flew away. So there are three pigeons left. Come on, let's fly the rest of the pigeons away. Chotu and Pinky once again waved their hands towards the pigeons, and this time all the pigeons flew away. Yeah, out of the three pigeons, all three flew away. So now zero pigeons are left. That is, not even a single pigeon is left. Come on, let's play now. So children, you saw how the number of pigeons kept on decreasing. In this way, if we take away some objects from a group of objects, then the number of that object decreases. So do you know what actually this method is called? This method is called subtraction. In this process, we generally subtract a smaller number from the bigger number. That's all for today. In this video we learned how does the number of objects decrease by subtraction? In the next video we will see some more interesting examples of subtraction. Till then, bye friends.